On 9-11, I was spared when other people were not. And I never forget that, that I lived and other people died, and that some people sacrificed themselves to get myself and others to safety uh, at the World Trade Center. I essentially look at that as, as a, like a second half of my life, and I think about it every single day. And I never, I never uh, ignore the fact that, that I could have died 20 years ago and not seen my kids grow up and not been here to, to build this business or not, not be there for my family or for my country. If you were there in the building, I mean, you, like I did, you felt the, the, the first plane hit. Uh, and I felt quite a feeling of, of doom at that time. And of course, you, unfortunately, you could already see um, death and destruction around you. So it was a terrible time. Uh, and, but it was a terrible time where you already saw, you know, in particular, the New York Fire Department, you saw um, uh, Port Authority, and you saw um, regular Americans helping each other. I mean, in that in that book, Hotel 9/11, there's a whole bunch of stories about you know like carrying people's bags, trying to get people out. I mean, they were they were helping each other, uh, and some of these firemen in particular basically stood there and sacrificed their lives to get as many people out as they could. Of course, I remember the the plane hitting, and I remember the terrible images, but I also remember like ordinary heroes right next to you, or you yourself helping somebody. That That's the good part of the memory I have for that day. People were told to stay where they were, and, and not only in World Trade Center 3, but a World Trade Center 1 and 2, like, okay, you know, uh, it, you know, stay stay in your room or stay where you are, or you can leave if you want, but, you know, we're, we're, we think we're okay here. Well, I mean, that's what I heard, stay, stay in your room. Uh, and that made total sense to me, because if you looked outside, it was, it, there were dead people outside, and there was death outside. Uh, and we didn't have experience of buildings falling down. And you, did, you didn't know the enormity of what had happened. You couldn't see up above. Or, and people didn't want to believe that, it, that people actually deliberately flew a plane into a building. You don't want to believe, I don't want to believe it now. Uh, so. At some point, I got what I thought was a tap on the shoulder. There's nobody there, but I, I felt like an angel told me to leave right now. First, we should remember the, the sacrifices and the loss. And then we should remember the heroism, too. I mean, it is, it is a profoundly sad and tragic event. It's also an event that showed how far Americans will go to help each other and how committed they are to the freedoms that we hold dear, and how even an enormously evil effort that appeared to be successful in, in killing a lot of people and destroying buildings and planes failed to change America. It failed at the effort to, to make America surrender or stop being what it was. And that's a, um, a matter of, of some satisfaction for me and for so many others that Evil exists in the world, but it doesn't triumph if good men do something. Uh, and that's how I think we should remember 9-11, not only this year, but every year.